Yeah, there you go. Anyway, so I uh, I took the bead blast off of her. Uh, just something to do, you know, an old knife and uh, just make do something new to it. I didn't get it, you know, quite a mirror finish. It's it's very close. I could have uh, gotten there in another 20 minutes. But uh, I don't care. This is my work knife for so long. As I stated, in my opinion, was the best pocket knife ever. I have ordered a ZT Zero Tolerance 0350. Uh, ordered it for 130 bucks off an eBay store that has 99.9% um, feedback rating or whatever. But uh, that'll be here in a couple days anyway to the point of the video. We will do a comparison because I don't see anybody, this is crazy, I don't see anybody uh, stating or recognizing that the Kershaw class is just the ZT0350 younger brother. It's the, it's the same knife, the blade shape. Um... The handle, the ergonomics, the handle shape, it's the same knife. It's just bigger in every way. So that'll be here in a couple days, and we'll do a little side-to-side -side comparison as it doesn't exist on YouTube. right -o. So here we is. I got the ZT. And uh, like I said, 130 bucks. It's the cheapest I've ever seen this. I've wanted one for years, but I wasn't willing to pay what... Uh, was being asked for them, you know, pretty much everywhere. Uh, $188 is like ZT's asking price, I think. Um, so, found her for a buck thirty, and I questioned whether it was going to show up a legitimate ZT or one of the counterfeit clones out there. But uh, it showed up a legitimate ZT. Uh, there's multiple ways to tell. You can find that video. I'm not going to get into it. It is a ZT 0350. And like I said, this video right here doesn't exist. As far as I can tell, as far as I found, I looked. I wanted to see a comparison between these two knives because I knew that these are basically little brother and big brother um you can now you can clearly see the comparison the uh the similarities between these two knives um in design both ken onion designs so you know that's not surprising that they're similar um i made the the previous video called the best pocket knife ever and I call the Kershaw Clash the best pocket knife ever. And I detail all the reasons, if you want to watch that video, why I consider this the best pocket knife ever. For me, at least. Me specifically. But I detail great reasons that wouldn't be any different for anyone else. Um, so, the comparison... I got a little graphite in the blade there from uh, sharpening pencil at work. I always forget I took the speed safe out of this. Um, so there's the two knives. There's not much difference in length, really. Um, the ZT is a little bit longer in actual blade length. No, dude, is it not? It's actually not. I don't line those blades up the same. It's a little bit longer, maybe. Just a smidgen, though. Like quarter inch. At best. But you got a lot more blade here. You actually do have a lot more blade. She's, I mean, obviously way thicker. Uh, beefier. There's the spines. Uh, not a huge difference, but this is a beefier blade. Look at the tip thickness difference there. Um, 
so what do I think? Um, I like the ZT, the 0350. Um, I don't like it as much. Still reigns supreme as my favorite pocket knife of all time. Everything about this pocket knife I like, except the uh, quality, I, which is, is kind of a kind of kind of a lie because this knife's held up for me for over ten years. I have had to re replace the torsion bar um, once, and the second time the torsion bar gave up the ghost I decided to go without it and I just whip her open I just whip her open like that um, in the hand the clash still feels absolutely perfect to me absolutely perfect the ZT feels excellent not perfect but excellent the di the only the difference that i don't like um hmm let me look here i actually like that the this stupid piece of shit just quit recording the clash actual handle is a little bit thicker i don't Man, is it barely even? Maybe it's not. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Maybe. You know, I think I just gotta get used to it. The one, I, what I can say I don't like. I like on the Clash how coming out of this uh, belly here it uh, kicks out and then recurves back, whereas the ZT does not. I wish that it came to like about here and then kicked back in and recurved like the Clash does. That feels better to me at the pinky. You can see how my fingers are versus the ZT. Mm. It feels like it kicks my pinky out some, instead of letting it kind of come around the knife a little bit. I like th I like that feel when it comes around the knife, kind of rests down here. Um, other than that, where well, my thumb rides on the ZT, um, my thumb kind of more rides. I tend I would tend to put my thumb more up on the blade the back of the, the spine of the blade with the clash um, just just a point I'm, I'm not a positive or a negative whatsoever but then if you want to do that this little belly here is feels awesome it feels really awesome getting up on that blade and and in in there, you know, you've got a little deposit for your thumb there on the back of that blade. I think, sorry, I got a candy in my mouth. I think I am going to come to really, really love the ZT. Um, I like it a lot already. But um, I absolutely, especially, absolutely love the texture of the G10 on the uh the zt it's uh it's rough but it's not it's not too rough it's like the perfect kind of rough like a canvas um there's a there's a kind of a canvas roughness feel to it um both knives i love that <clears throat> they have the index indentation contour I love the ergonomics of these knives. That's what I love about these knives. They feel right to me in my hand. Um, 
S30VN. This isn't like a unboxing or a <clears throat> details of the, the ZT. Y'all can find that anywhere. This is me putting something side by side um, that doesn't seem to be out there comparing to similar knives. I, I, I just blew me away that I couldn't find this comparison on YouTube. So yeah, here's anything you want to know, just ask. Go ahead and ask in the comments. And um, I don't have notifications turned on for comments on YouTube, but um, the belly's a little different on them. Uh, they both have that. Uh, oops, that's not good for your fucking edge. Oh, this sucker comes. Re shaving sharp no problem I got a bald spot on my arm to prove it let's see where she at there you go there's your little bald spot to prove it and that was just one simple swipe uh, took the hair right off effortlessly it's fantastic <clears throat> fantastic edge out of the box Feels great. Absolute unit of a knife. <clears throat> Do miss the big pocket clip, but this isn't a jabby one. Definitely not a jabby one. That'd be a shitty little jabby one, you know? <clears throat> or this the real shitty jabby this has got a nice uh, spoon little spoon, spoon shape to it but nothing nothing will ever beat the Kershaw Clash pocket clip you see the wear on that bad boy it's a it's a spent many a years riding on the pocket Love it. Three screws on that sucker as opposed to two. <clears throat> I'll have to look and see um, if they adapt. It looks like the whole spacing is not the same to where I could get, you know, these two in there and cover that up. I don't care. I can't stand lanyards. I don't know what the hell anybody has a lanyard for. I think it's more a style thing than anything. F uh, form over function. They come up with a lot of silly fucking reasons why they say they like lanyards. And they all sound stupid to me. They sound made up. <clears throat> but you ask any questions you want. Very obvious difference at the blade tips, you know. That's a big difference in these blades. But they're similar knives. Very, very similar knives. As far as, you know, shapes and ergonomics. <clears throat> Ask any questions you want to know. Or want me to compare. But I wanted to put these two knives side by side for you. So people could see what I wanted to see. Uh, I guess that's about it.